The Sensational 7 Countdown, sponsored by Sleep Tight. Better bed, less money. Number 7. We kick off the Sensational 7 Countdown at the Collinsville Prairie Farm Classic where the Quincy High Blue Devils were rocking and rolling. In the semifinal game, it was Cameron Wires putting an exclamation mark in their win over O'Fallon. Up 36-35, he hit the step back jumper as time expired to give the Blue Devils a little cushion. I'll tell you what, don't sleep on Cam. He is doing some great things on the hardwood. Number six. We head to the Lady Tigers Classic in Beardstown where North Fulton couldn't stop Brown County's Ashley Marker. She dominated North Fulton on the offensive glass. In transition, she simply couldn't be stopped. She would go for 31 points in this one to help the Lady Hornets come away with a dub. Number five. Back to Collinsville, where in the quarterfinals, the Blue Devils punished Altoff all game long. Camden Brown did Camden Brown type things all game, and then checking out in transition, catching the tip pass, and then putting down the two-hand flush. Yeah, defender was smart to just stay out of the way. Fun stuff from him and the Blue Devils all week long as they would walk away with the second place finish. Number four. In Waverly, Route Catholic and South County absolutely went at it, needing four overtimes to come to a conclusion. Now the game itself was very fun to watch. Maybe more entertaining though was a performance from Bryson Boston. He hit a number of big shots, including a triple to force the first overtime. And when you are feeling it, you are feeling it. He would finish with 42 points. Yeah, you heard that right. The Rockets would fall short in this one, but what an individual performance from the sophomore it was. Number three. The McComb Western Holiday Classic provided some great basketball as it does every year, and Deion Doyle gave the hometown crowd some excitement. Check him out here setting the tone against Brown County with a big time jam. He is really, really fun in open court. Hey Deion, can you teach me to jump like that? Yes, fun stuff that was from him. Number two. More from the McComb Bombers, this time coming from Malachi Conley. Check him out here against Central just before the end of the first quarter. He beat the buzzer with his tray ball, and you know what? It was just that type of game. The Bombers carried that momentum throughout the rest of the game and would knock off the top seed and previously undefeated Panthers to punch their ticket into the title game for the first time in 13 years. That was some fun basketball in Western Hall. Number one. But the top spot this week comes from the Waverly Holiday Tournament and that man, Zach Evans. Earlier in the week, it only took one play for him to rock the gym. Check him out here on the very first play. He comes away with the steal and then threw one down with some authority. But that wasn't the last time you would see that. In the title game, it was almost deja vu. The steal and yes, the big time slam. The Cougars were crowned tournament champs and Zach Evans would win MVP, which is why he has earned top spot this week, Sensational 7 style.